The Onyuva Clinic is situated in the Epupa constituency and opened its doors to the community last week, providing health care services to close to 2,000 community members from Onyuva and nearby villages. Construction of the facility commenced in 2009 but came to a standstill in 2011 due to complications and unavailability of funds. The government of the United States of America, through its Department of Defense and its embassy in Namibia, financially assisted the government to see through the construction of the building. United States Ambassador to Namibia Thomas Dalton says peace depends on basic human needs being met, thus their involvement in a number of projects aimed at meeting basic human needs in Namibia and Africa at large. It is my sincere hope that this facility and the medical personnel who staff it will bring you the medical care and treatment you deserve but have not been able to access before now. This clinic symbolizes the close partnership between the Ministry of Health and the United States government. It is a partnership that has been incredibly successful over the years in working to control the impact of HIV and AIDS in Namibia. Health and Social Services Minister Ben Ataufiku says his ministry and that of defense have reached an agreement to use the Namibian Defense Force helicopter to transport critical ill patients and expectant mothers from Onyuva Clinic to Opuo District Hospital as the road network between Onyuva and Opuo is in bad shape, typically taking more than six hours to reach by car. Onyuva is about 230 kilometers from the town of Opuo, capital of the Konene region. We hear of people taking up to two weeks on a donkey car to reach Opuo. We heard people dying on the way to Opuo. Somebody once said or asked me, do you know why there are not so cemeteries in Kaokoland? I was puzzled. But the close inspection revealed that people die halfway and they get buried there. We need to reverse this situation. Opuo District Hospital is served by two foreign doctors and Haufiku wants parents to send their children to school to become medical doctors and work within their communities. Namibia is past the point where it should be highly dependent on foreign doctors as the country now has the capacity to produce its own medical professionals. Tonateni Ishtila, NBC News, Oshakati.